is going to address the nation tonight on health care reform and a lot of other issues. Um, we have a lot of nurse leaders with SEIU here from all over the country, and we're going to watch that tonight. My greatest hope is that uh, President Obama speaks about the need for um, providing quality, affordable, accessible health care for all Americans in this country. Um, and when we talk about quality, that's when you're talking about nursing care in this country. Well, I'm hoping he'll talk about how you cannot fix the economy without fixing health care. Hoping that he's really going to, you know, keep the promises that he made and and push the agenda to have health care for all people in this country. None of this will come without cost, nor will it be easy. But this is America. We don't do what's easy. We do what's necessary to move this country forward. And for that same reason, we must also address the crushing cost of health care. There's a cost that now causes a bankruptcy in America every 30 seconds. By the end of the year, it could cause 1.5 million Americans to lose their homes. In the last eight years, premiums have grown four times faster than wages. And in each of these years, one million more Americans have lost their health insurance. It is one of the major reasons why small businesses close their doors and corporations ship jobs overseas. And it is one of the largest and fastest growing parts of our budget. Given these facts, we can no longer afford to put health care reform on hold. We can't afford to do it. Now, there will be many different opinions and ideas about how to achieve reform. And that's why I'm bringing together businesses and workers, doctors and health care providers, Democrats and Republicans, to begin work on this issue next week. I suffer no illusions that this will be an easy process. Once again, it will be hard. But I also know that nearly a century after Teddy Roosevelt first called for reform, the cost of our health care has weighed down our economy and our conscience long enough. So let there be no doubt, health care reform cannot wait, it must not wait, and it will not wait another year. We all got into nursing to work with patient care. And the unfortunate reality is that patient care isn't just working with the patient, it's with working with the system that delivers the care to the patient. It's time for nurses' voices to be heard on what it takes to deliver the quality patient care that patients deserve in this country. And it'll be, um, nurses need to know that uh, they have uh, an important role to play in the decision-making when it comes to what health care reform is going to look like.